so that's it that's it that's it <laughs> <laughs>What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the Rentec headquarters here at the Nürburgring in Germany. Behind you can see my True Blood AMG GTS getting lifted up onto the ramp as they begin to inspect the stock exhaust system and my 4.0 litre bi-turbo engine. Inside they have got some crazy cars and today is the day that my exhaust is getting swapped over. I am having Rentec downpipes with 200 cell sports cats fitted to to my car along with an ECU tune and a Rentec blow off valve which is a brand new product from Rentec. Today's video is going to be showing the process of what it takes to change downpipes on the AMG GTS and what it takes to have the Rentec sound and performance out of an AMG GTS. Not only that, I'm going to be hearing the car for the first time which I cannot wait for. This has been way too long in the making and I'm just so so excited to hear how the AMG GTS needs to sound and then I'm going to just go for an absolute blast hopefully take the car onto a dyno as well here in Germany with the guys from Rentec and this video is the one that I have been looking forward to making for some time so let's head inside check out what is going on what is happening to my car and just follow the process I'm coming outside because it is nearly the moment of truth. My AMG, the second downpipe, has just been fitted to the car. My car is nearly ready, so I'm probably about five to 10 minutes away from hearing it for the first time, and I think everyone from Rentec is gonna join me going to the dyno, putting the car onto the dyno, and doing some performance tests the first time I've ever put any of my cars on a dyno and put it on YouTube. So this is a seriously, seriously exciting time, but I think the guys are just as excited as I am. So what an absolutely phenomenal work environment this is. This is the first time I've heard it. I'm starting way too close. <laughs> That's so loud. Wait, that was close? <laughs> okay, open them. Right, so <laughs> this is the first time that I'm going to drive the AMG GTS with the Rentec downpipes and 200 cell sports cats, and I'm so <laughs> damn excited. They are just doing the final touches, sort of cleaning it, making sure there are no fingerprints. I think I'm good to go. And it just crackles. Oh, I'm in love. I was already in love with this car, but wow. 
this car is going to be quite ridiculous. I'm going to wait now for Tom to jump in the car. I'm already blown away. <laughs> there is so much more talk. <laughs> There's just so much going on. There is so much going on. So you get the, the V8 rasp and thunder to it. Then you get all of the crackles on the upshift that I'd never got from the sports exhaust. And then as I come off the throttle, the blower fan is just letting go of all of the turbo air. Oh my God. Here we go. This is like the first, this is going to be like the first full acceleration. <laughs> oh my god! It is just so raspy! <laughs> oh my god! The one thing that I was worried about when Renta introduced the idea of a blower valve was that it was just going to be too in your face because I think that sometimes blower valves get the wrong name for themselves, but... Oh. The bangs are so, so intrusive into the car, but of course, like, I can just put it back into comfort. We cruise around, and it's just got a really nice rumble to it, but I don't want to go. to go back underneath the underpass. Window down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to drop you off. You're gonna have to get that from the outside. <laughs> oh my god. Don't really know. <laughs> Don't really know what to say after just sitting there revving in that tunnel. That. I can't imagine what it was like for you behind the car, but. Pardon? <laughs>
there you can see the comparison uh, between a stock car, which is the black lines, um, its power and torque compared uh, stock to the current uh, stage. So um, this is the ECU tune and the downparks you have, resulting in 850 newton meters of torque, which is still limited um, because the transmission can take more, and 625 uh, horsepower at crank, so BHP. Wow. That's a comparison. And especially you can see that the mid range is, is uh, it's really amazing how much torque uh, you can gain from, from the engine and from, from the transmission. Ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing more I can say. The car is now a Rentec beast.